Bubba here again. We're just doing a quick little video. I, was, I ain't really made nothing in a while. It's been a minute. For that, I do apologize. But we were going through some stuff, finding some things, and I'm getting holiday stuff moved around, and I found a bunch of old candles. Some that have been... Here, let me see if I can't grab this. Darn near melted down. You can see I cut some of the sides off. So I've got a bunch of old empty Altoid tins laying around. So what I'm doing is... I'm taking it and I cut up some pieces and I put them on a basically it's a pot of boiling water put them in top of it right there and what I'm doing is I'm letting it melt it without burning it and I actually got some old this isn't technically a string for candles whatever you want to call that it's actually some stuff I use for sewing up leather sheaths but it works pretty good once you wax it. It burns real nice. And I got a bunch of these little Altoid tins. And uh, I'm going to go fancy. I'm going to get real fancy on you. I got some of this stuff my ex-wife left laying around. Some eucalyptus essential oil. Put that in there. See, we can't make it smell good, too. I'm going to do one scented, one non-scented. Just for the hell of it. Uh, should be a pretty quick video. I'm just going to let this get melted down. And then uh, pour it into the tins and try to let my string stay upright, the wick, whatever you want to call it. And uh, in the meantime, I got me a new little play toy over here I'm going to clean. Oh, 45 long coat. This thing's it's a beast. Check these things out. That joke is the size of your finger. So, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to clean that while this stuff melts, and I'll get right back to you in just a second. All right. It's pretty much all the way melted down. I'm going to do this over the sink. What I'm going to do is i got this towel here, and I'm going to use the towel to wipe the condensation off the bottom of the pot. Because otherwise, when I go to pour the wax into these containers, it's going to be dripping water into the containers, too. I got my pot. Try not to spill this stuff everywhere. Wipe condensation off the bottom of it. Then I'm gonna pour this into these little Altoid tins and try my best not to burn myself up or make the biggest mess ever. Well, I didn't make the biggest mess. Did make a little mess. really hot. What do you expect, right? Molten hot wax. Put this back on the bowl. I don't think y'all can see what I'm doing down here, so let's do this. Alright. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to keep fumbling with it until we figure it out. Got my string here. And I'm going to try to, it's got to set up a little bit. I want to cover the string in wax. Can you see that? I want to make sure my string is good and covered in wax. And then I'm just going to kind of let it sit. Like, shoot, if I don't want to act right. I'm going to kind of let it sit somewhat in there. Let it just relax for a little bit, get good and soaked. I'm going to leave it set. Well, I go get some more wax to put back on the pot. And then get this wax out of my sink. Boom. Too much wax in my sink. So, I'm going to get the rest of this candle. Instead, I was trying to cut chunks off of it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this bad boy right there in that wax. Maybe since there's already a bunch of wax in there, it'll help that big old thing melt down a little bit faster. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Don't know. We're playing, we're having fun, we're trying to see what we can do. Got all this candle. Might as well use it. I'm going to make this one the scented one. I got this eucalyptus. What do pandas eat? Eucalyptus. That actually smells pretty good. I'm just going to kind of put, I don't know. I'm not sure what the recommendation is. About four, five, six, seven, eight drops. I couldn't count. It went pretty quick. It wasn't a whole lot. 
maybe uh, use this string here to uh, stir the oil up in it. Maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But while I let that one cool, I finish getting this wick right, and then uh, keep checking on that one over there. See if we can't get it melted down real good and do some more. I'll be back with y'all in just a second. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I got tired of holding the wick, waiting for the wax to cool down, so I just set it on the floor of my freezer. And that thing's set up so quick. I like that. That makes it nice. Little trick. Learn a little something every time you mess around. What I'll do when that gets good and hard, I'll trim the wicks down. But it's it's not about ready. So I'll trim that down and that one will be done. This is almost ready to come back off here. It's got a good bit in there now. I'm going to need some more tins, I guess, maybe. But uh, I'll be right back. All right, I found two more tins. I got a little smarter. I put aluminum foil lining in my sink because it made a mess in my sink. That took me a while to scrape out with a butter knife. So we're going to do this one more time. This should be the rest of it. It's going to be messy because there's a lot of it. But wipe all the water off the bottom. You don't want that in your candle. Oh, that's nice and hot too, boy. All right. Yeah, it all dripping out that tin foil. This doesn't pour in here real, real well. All right, that's one. Set that on the corner right there. Let it make a mess over there. Yeah, that's good and hot, good and messy. Yeah, if I was gonna do something, it would. It has, it's got to be messy. I ain't gonna do nothing clean like. Besides, if you ain't making a mess, you ain't having fun yet. Oh, and I found some uh, more different essential oil. I found some lavender. So I put that in this one with the blue, the blue Altoid can, since it's different than the rest of them. Is that, that back over there real ninja-like? Come over here and set these down again. Ooh, yeah. Hot tamale. Making a mess, yes sir. All right. See if I can't wipe these down a little bit. And I'm gonna stick them back in the freezer like I did a minute ago because that worked really well. But right this second, ah, it's burning my finger. Set it down, hot potato, hot potato, set it down. Yes, sir. That's what that other one looked like. It's been in the freezer for a minute, setting up real good. That one's done. Bam! Smells good. Oh, uh -oh. the other candles weren't scented at all, so it's kind of like, all right, might as well throw some scent in them. If y'all are doing bushcraft or whatever out in the woods, survival—I don't know what you want, call it—but you probably wouldn't want a scented candle. But heck, my life, my candle, I do what I want. And I thought that stuff would just be cool to make one or two of them scented. So. uh I'm going to uh, put wicks in the rest of these three over here, find something to do with the rest of that wax, maybe set it to the side for a little while till I find some more uh, <coughs> Altoid tins or whatever to do with them. Um, I pulled the wick out of the candle and I'm going to use that in the other Altoid tins, but uh, I'll get back with y'all in a minute with a complete finished project, but I already showed you one of them, so it'll just look like more of the same. I'll be right back. 
All right, well, here we go. Made four of them. Uh, can you see all that? I put three in that one right there. One of them was a little too short, but we'll see how it does. But that's them. I'll trim the wicks all down to a different, decent length. But, you know, just a little something to do. When you got all them half burnt candles, you know, most folks just throw them away, melt them down, make little candles throw in your backpack, you know. If you leave the lid up, like this one right here, just leave the lid up like that, it'll actually reflect a good bit of light, you know. Don't cost much. You can get the Altoid cans everywhere. Or if you're like me and you just eat Altoids and you'll have the can eventually. Um, buddies at work leave me their cans. Melt the candle down. That sewing string actually works pretty good. I tested on a small little run over there just to make sure it would actually work. And uh, probably not as good as an actual wick, but the, I got a one, two of them have real wicks on them from what came out of the candles themselves. So just, you know, what's that, uh, reduce waste, you know, reuse, recycle. But, uh, all right, well, I hope you learned something. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. And got any questions, you know, ask them down below. Like, comment, dislike, thumbs down, whatever you feel like doing. Hopefully I'll get back on the ball here soon and have y'all some more videos coming out. Thank y'all very much.